sitting in your chair. Sit up tall, root down with your feet on the floor. You don't have to wear bare feet. You can have your shoes on or socks on if you prefer. Uh, just make sure that whatever is under your feet you're connecting to it with all four corners of your feet. So both sides of the ball of your foot, both sides of your heel, and all of your toes. Begin to sit up tall. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and slide them down your back. And just settle in here for a moment. If you want, you can rest your back against the back of your chair, or you can sit up tall and um, find a comfortable seat that way. You can find your gaze down at the floor. You can keep it at the screen if you wish, or you can go ahead and close your eyes. So just begin to settle into the natural rhythm of your breath. So however you pull the air into your body through your nose or your mouth, just find yourself in a natural rhythm here. Allowing yourself to settle in, to just allow us to communicate with our nervous system, with our mind, our body, our spirit, that we are gonna move into a gentle yoga practice today. Anything that's going on in your life outside of our space, will be there when you finish. So just let it be there. Letting your breath draw you into your seat, draw you into this moment in time. Just really allow you to arrive. You can pick up all 10 toes if that is comfortable for you. And then just begin to place each toe back down on the floor as much as you can do that. This is a practice I have been doing for a long time and I still can't quite do it one at a time. Keeping your spine long, whether that be against the back of your chair to begin or sitting up tall, drawing that air in and out. We're going to add a technique to our breathing now. So as you draw the air into your body, just notice the pulling of the air in through your nose or your mouth. Notice it coming down your throat and into your lungs. And then if you're not already doing this, see if you can expand your belly by pulling all of the air that you can fit into your body in pausing at the top of this deep inhale, just to notice that feeling of fullness, that expansion across your belly. And then as you exhale, notice that contraction, that little push at the bottom of your belly as you push the air back up out of your nose or your mouth. So just tr practice these deep belly breaths as a way to settle us in and to begin our practice today. The practice of yoga is a practice of unity to find ourselves connected to ourselves as well as our community. The asana or the postures that we practice in yoga are just one part of a whole. And these breathing practices that we do, such as these deep belly breaths, are another part of that whole. Drawing the air in through your nose or your mouth, filling up your throat, your chest, your belly. And then as you exhale, contracting at the bottom, pushing the air back up and out in, breathing out. Begin to just notice anything that's going on in your body today as you practice these deep belly breaths. Notice if there's any aches or pains, 
if there's an adjustment that you need to make in order to be a little more comfortable in our practice today. Notice if you shift your feet or your legs a little bit, if you're able to just find a little bit more ease in your seat. We practice yoga. It's not a perfection, it's a practice. It's always evolving and changing. And when we scan our bodies each time before we begin our practice, it's just a way for us to um, continue to create that trust between our mind and our bodies, that we're letting our bodies know that we want to be aware of what's going on with them and that we will take care of them and make the adjustments that we need to make in order for us to find ease. Breathing in, breathing out. And then on your next inhale, just begin, if your eyes are not already, you can blink them open. Sitting up tall now, so if you were resting your back against the back of your chair, if it's accessible for you, bring your back off the back of the chair and just sit up tall, letting your shoulders slide down your back. You can rest your hands on your thighs or your knees, or if you do have a chair with arms, it's perfectly fine to keep your arms and hands on those armrests. So as you sit up tall, Perhaps you would like to find a focus point, or in Sanskrit they would call a drishti, so a point of focus on the floor or in front of you, preferably something that's not moving so that you can keep your focus there. Rooting down in those feet once again, perhaps you would like to lift up those toes once again. Sitting up tall in your seat, your chest is forward, there's an openness across your pectoral muscles. Your heart is open and your shoulders are down. We'll begin by rolling our shoulders up to our ears and then sliding them down our backs. We'll do that a few more times. You can go at your own pace here throughout our practice. Anything that I offer is just an invitation it is not a must have to do. It is not something that you are required to do. You're welcome to try things and if they do not work for you, you may do whatever you need to do to feel comfortable in your body. I offer all of these movements as a way to find balance between effort and ease. The next time your shoulders are down, pause there and then just switch the directions of the circles. So if you were going back at first, bring them forward or vice versa. And just notice any sensation that you're feeling as we do this and make the adjustments that you need to in order to feel comfortable in your body. And then come back to stillness Flip your palms so that they're facing up towards your ceiling. And then on your next inhale, begin to draw your arms up tall above your head, letting your palms face each other at the top, reaching up out of your shoulders, keeping the shoulders down while reaching up. I know that's a, a contradiction, but um, do your best. And then when you are ready with your right hand, go ahead and grab your left wrist. So holding on to that left wrist with your right hand, just give your left wrist a little tug over to the right, keeping your sits bones rooted down in your seat so that you're still sitting with all of your booty against your chair and you're just finding some uh, stretch along your left lateral side. On your next inhale, come back up to center, let go with that right hand, give your wrists a little rotation here, and then go ahead with that left hand, grab that right wrist, and begin to just give a tug over to the left side now. If 
finding that stretch along the right lateral side. Breathing in and breathing out as we do this. Just warming up our body, waking it up with some gentle movements. On your next inhale, come back up to center. Let go of that wrist and gently with your palms facing the floor, let your arms float back down. 